Good morning, everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Pastor Jonathan. I'm Pastor Kaylani. We hope you had a wonderful week. Yep. I am so excited because it is a new month. We are starting mm -hmm. August, but you know what's awesome about this month? What is it? We have a virtual sports camp. That's starting. right tomorrow tomorrow august 3rd through 7th is our virtual sports camp so if you haven't signed up yet go sign up right now there's yeah. still room there's still time it's online like go yeah pause pause this video right here okay, okay now that you're all signed up great if you've already signed up before today make sure you get to the church yep. get to the church our san jose campus from 10 30 to 11 30 because today is t-shirt pickup day i don't know if you noticed we have these really cool virtual sports camp video or uh, t-shirts on these are the shirts that you guys are all going to be getting so you can join with us because every day we're going to end our virtual sports camp with a zoom call that's right what else are we doing during the day pastor Jonathan? oh my goodness we're gonna well you can sign up for one activity to learn throughout the entire week that's so cool like soccer wow like cooking yeah like dance you know, there's a lot of other things, but I want you to be surprised when you go register right now. Yeah, definitely go and do that. And don't forget, today's t-shirt pickup day, if you already registered, 1030 to 1130 at our San Jose campus. So whatever time you're watching this, make sure you pause your video, talk with your parents, go get your parents, yep. make sure that they're ready to put you in the car and go pick up your, your t-shirt. Look for our tent and our balloons will be outside of the kids area at our San Jose campus and we'll be ready to hand you your t-shirt. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, now that you guys are ready for virtual sports camp, which I'm so oh, yes. grateful for, we guys, we're gonna have so much fun. It's gonna be fantastic. Now we're gonna jump into our service and you guys know the drill. It's time to get checked in, so don't forget to get checked in. So let's grab your mobile devices or you can do this online. Go to your planning center app or church center app. You're gonna go to the bottom right button where it says check in, select that, select which campus you're on and we're gonna select which person we're gonna be checking in today. So kiddos, make sure you get checked into this service right now. Don't parents, stew. yeah, parents, don't forget, you can check into the main service, or we might have some friends who are with us at drive-in service currently watching. Yeah. That is awesome because we're meeting in person at drive-in service, staying in our cars, or right here online. So select everyone who's getting checked in in the right time in the classroom, put next, and that's it. So, so simple. Boom, you're done. It's, that's all you have to do. So make sure you guys get checked in and we're gonna jump into today's service. Yeah. Let's do we this. We're gonna start our countdown video right now. Prepare audience for maximum impact. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today. We are, for our countdown video, we are gonna do another Kahoot challenge. Wait, before we start in this month of August with a clean slate, I just wanna remind everyone that in July last month, I was the winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we put July behind us? Like, we can. can we forget about it completely? Not yet. Uh, because the Just only <gasps> month that I want to remember is going to be this month because this month is going to be the month where I beat you. It's not going to happen. Gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah, so if for, you guys haven't, for go those, ahead. <laughs> for those of you who haven't uh, joined us uh, at all, and maybe it's your first time, we just want to say welcome. Welcome! Uh, what we do every single week is we uh, play a game of Kahoot, or we mm -hmm. do some type of challenge. Yeah. And the loser at the end of the month who has lost the most has to spin our, press our button to spin the Wheel of Doom. The Wheel of Doom. And on the Wheel of Doom is uh, terrible stuff like this super hot stuff, hot sauce. Uh, we also have eating worms or eating crickets. Which if you tuned in last week, you got a preview. Hey, which, I thought we were gonna forget about that and put it behind us, thank you very much. Um, we also have <laughs> getting pancaked, which is gonna be fun. That's really funny. Uh, it's really messy. Yeah. Whipped cream pie to the face, we have getting well, we're, slimed. We're gonna take that off because- uh, Oh wait, that, that did already get removed, yeah, didn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. So but, if you didn't know, the Wheel of Doom constantly gets updated because yeah. we add in crazier things, messier things, funky things. So anyways, we're going to do a challenge Thank right now. Do. Yeah, we're going to do a challenge right now to see who's going to spin the Wheel of Doom. But we do one every single week, so you have to tune in every single week. Make sure you like and subscribe yep. our channel, Bethel Kids SJ. And pray for me that I win not every time. No, just Thank pray you. that, you know, I'm just going to keep my winning streak. So for the next few months, I'm going to keep winning. No. Winner, winner. Yeah. All right. I got used to winning, so I just want to keep so winning. So, Pastor Kehlani, what's our Kahoot challenge on? Our Kahoot challenge today is on art. Art? Oh, why is it on art? art? So, all month in the, th the month of August, we're talking about how God is indescribable. And we're going to be talking about creativity a lot. So, oh, I right. wanted to jump in and start off with a little bit of creative works. And I happen to love artwork, so I picked one that has artwork in it. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Are you ready? I am so ready. Let me get logged in here. 
and we will jump right in. Do you guys like art? Are you guys big art fans? Like, I mean, comic books are art. You could have like, that's like different type of illustrative art, paintings. I, I think I did one on paintings right now. The Kahoot I, okay. I chose was paintings. So we're gonna do some paintings, which I happen to love. Painters. Mm -hmm. okay. You're pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get this. I don't know if this is, we have to guess the painting or the painter. Oh, okay. It just said art. So we'll find out, here we go. All right, here's our first question. What art is what this? Art is this? Oh. Oh. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Dog's playing poker. Kind of like, you can't miss that. Yeah. I'm surprised it took me so long. Uh, you definitely got this one. Yeah, so if you didn't know, we our points are not only ranked by who gets it correct, but also who puts their answer in correctly fastest. The fastest, yeah. So, yeah, I did that one a little bit faster. Okay. All right, but we are one out of 10 questions. So, oh, there's only 10 questions. There's only 10 questions. We're going to zip right through this. It's going to be really fast. Let's do it. Next question. Numero dos. What art is this? Oh, well, sorry. Uh, uh, yes. American Gothic. Um, it's like a classic American painting, if you've ever seen it. People re recreate it quite a bit, I, huh? I, I think I should be worried because you are answering these faster than me. But you're still getting them all right. That's good, yeah. I'd rather get it right than wrong. Because True. Because then if I get it wrong... There's no way that you could ever come back. No. But you're... I mean, there's a way. Yeah, you're only 200 behind right but now. But there's only 10 questions, so it makes it a lot oh. harder. That's all right, you can keep going slow. Yeah. What painting is this? Because I could just win again. That'd be fine. Oh. oh! One of my faves. The Screwbear! Well, not the picture isn't one of my favorites, but the artist is one of my favorites. Okay. Do you know uh, who drew it? Yes. Who? Van Gogh. What's his first name? Van Gogh. No! <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah. I happened to do a report on him in like sixth grade or something, oh, seventh wow. grade. Yeah. And I, I had to recreate. What's that, Pastor Kilani? Not as long as your, your sixth grade year. <laughs> He's a lot older. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Let's see. Ugh. Oh yeah, 3,058. You're still and you're only 2,800. 2, so I'm still 200 ahead. 200, a little less mm -hmm. than 200. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Question four. What painting is this? So it looks like it's just all paintings. Yeah. Oh. Also, my favorite. That's actually my favorite painting. Yeah. The Starry Night, if you've ever heard of it. Also Vince Van Gogh. Yes. Sorry, I answered your question before you asked that. Mm. Yeah, he has that abstract type strokes, really clear. Okay. Uh, I'm still 200 ahead. You're still trucking I'm slowly still behind. Five, We're halfway there. Five, five out of ten. Up. Five out of ten. Come on, Pastor John. You can do this. Ooh. Yeah, hey. you got that. I didn't think you were gonna get that one. Did you know that or did you just guess? I knew it. Dare you. All right, next question. All right, here we go, next question. Number six. You didn't know it, did you? What are you talking about? You totally guessed. What are you talking about? Now I'm 300 ahead. You better go faster, or not. I mean, just, you know, it's fine. What painting is this? The persistence of memory. The names of some of these paintings are so epic. I feel like the names are, memory. yeah, are so deep. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't understand. This is a really simple one. Yeah. This is well, not. This it's is not simple, simple for us, but maybe not for them. Oh, that's true. Because we're old. Yeah. You guys aren't old. Do you guys know these paintings? You're older. Stop it. <laughs> do you guys? Know, yeah. Do you guys know these paintings? Here we go. Next question. 7 out of 10. What painting is this? Okay, number 7. Let's see. Uh, yep. Isn't it funny he has an apple on his face? Or apple blocking his face? Do you think it fell from a tree? And it just like mid-fall, he's taking a picture and can you take a picture of an apple falling from a tree mid-fall? And it happened to block his face? I think it has to do with the apple just fall part of the tree. Oh, because he's the son he's the of a guy. Yes. So. Oh, we'll never know. Or we could. I mean, we could look it up. I don't know. <laughs> hey, 
artist, like when you look at paint, somebody gets something different out of looking at it. Yeah, but sometimes they get it like spot on. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm like, okay, I'm like uh, 500 ahead of me now. Yeah. You only have two more. You better go shot. fast. Oh, come on. You've got to know this one. Girl with a pearl earring. Uh, are, you, like, are you sleepy today? I think, I think you're like dragging. You're going real slow. I think he's sleepy. Are you guys sleepy? The pearl is right there. I know, pearl with a pearl earring. But you still did it really slow. How many points did you get for that one? Uh, 15, 16. You did? No, you didn't. You're lying. Yeah, look. No, you totally are lying. You got 1440. I got 1445. Oh, now I'm 500 ahead. Uh, you only have two questions, sir. Uh, sure? I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I knew I was going to win this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Number nine. Here we go. Oh. Da -da -da. Nighthawks. I actually had this painting in my room. You did? Who's in it? Um, it is with Marilyn Monroe. There's also... Um, um, Elvis uh -huh. and um, I am drawing a blank on his name. Jim Dean. James Dean. James Dean. Thank you. Very yes. Much. yes. Jimmy Dean is the breakfast sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jimmy Dean too. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me see the picture. All right. Isn't see. isn't there one more person or no? Uh, There's I four. Think it's Humphrey Bogart. Who? Humphrey Bogart. So that's supposed to be Marilyn Monroe. It's a really blurry picture. Yeah, it is. I think this. Maybe he's a waiter. Who knows? I don't remember. You used to have it in your room? You didn't remember? A long time ago. How uh, long ago? I'm not gonna talk about you that don't want right to talk now. about age? No. All right. We'll put the past. We'll put the past behind us. Oh. Yep. Okay. Last yeah, question. You got a lot of past to put behind you. Oh, good lord. I'm pretty sure I totally dominated this. Are you ahead of me by a thousand? Oh no. Yeah, I have eleven thousand two hundred eighty-seven. You have 10,800. So you're going 1,000. No, I'm like... You're like 300. No, I'm like 400. Okay, whatever. Five, six, seven, eight. Me. Because I'm that's okay. right now. It's fine. You're not... You're going to get this wrong. I'm not going to get this wrong. Epically wrong. Oh, There's please, no please, way we can get this wrong. Loading. There's it's no not, way. Look, it's not loading. It's totally there, by the way. <laughs> no, it's not loading. <laughs> I could have won this. No. I, I, I just... You guys saw it because I could have won this. <laughs> You didn't. I'm getting a new iPad. So this August so <laughs> looks like it might be a repeat of July. It is not. I still, you know, there's in five Jesus weeks name. in August. No, there's only four, isn't there? There's five. Is there five? There's five weeks well, in August. Well, five weeks for me to be able to beat you and That's just happen. completely so be free of the Wheel of Doom again. And she's only going to win this one. Nah. And I'm going to win so. the rest of the four. I don't think so. Come it's not going to happen. No. But that's how I did it last time. She won like once and then I came Yeah. Back. That was in what? I don't remember how long ago. I don't ago even remember. Was, it was a really, really It was a while ago. ago. I desperately, desperately need Desperately. This one. <laughs> See? I, I need this one. <laughs> it's okay. Guys, I love you all. I know you're praying for me to be spared of the Wheel of Doom again. And I appreciate it because it's going to happen again. August is going to be our, 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 our month. I'm not going to tell all right, guys, now it's time for our service to begin right now. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our online services. We are excited about today, and I'm super excited that we're moving forward from that last condition. I mean, I won, and it was fantastic. And if you guys know, if you've been watching our online services, I have not won. I didn't win a lot in the beginning. I lost quite a bit, so, but now I've been winning, and I'm grateful. This month, we are starting a brand new month. And this month, we are talking about creativity. Imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. So awesome. That is so cool. I mean, all, what we could do is, is limitless. Think of all the people who created like the iPhone or computers or driving a car. They got creativity because God gave it to them. Yeah, and not just technology and things like that, but all the things. Like think about all the things on this table. Games and toys and 
really cool things that we could put in our room like lava lamps. All of that stuff came out of somebody's creative thought process. And today we're just going to focus in on pretty much that same point that there's no limit to God's creativity. And if God's creativity is limitless and he created us in his image, then our creativity must be limitless as well. So we're gonna talk about that some more later, but how exciting is that? Just to know that there's no limit to God's creativity. Yeah. He's not done yet. Yeah. What we've seen before, he might do things completely in a different and brand new way. So it's true. amazing. Well, before we get into everything, we like to go over our mission, and that is for you not to do it when you're by yourself, yeah. not to do it when you're just with your family, but to do it everywhere, when you're at the grocery store, when you're with your friends, when when you're home alone, you know, we want you to be the light. And Pastor Kaylani, what does the light stand for? The light is all about Math what Matthew 5, 16 talks about and how we need to be representatives of Jesus, yep. that our actions should help people recognize who God is. And so the light actually stands for a couple things. The L stands for being loving, be loving everywhere. This is our mission for us, for you, for everybody watching today to be loving. Let's be loving to ourselves. Let's be loving to our family and our friends. The I stands for including. We want to include everyone, all all the time yep. no matter what the G stands for generous let's be generous with what we have let's share the things the skills the abilities the gifts the finances whatever it is it doesn't have to just be money yep. people think that generosity is just giving away money it doesn't have to be it could be time. it could be your time yep. helping someone out maybe I need my car fixed and I'm not good at that so I'm going to call someone else yep. so generosity is huge the H stands for being hope filled and that means that I love the hope filled because yes. it means no matter what happens God is still in control and our hope remains in Him. And so we get to always keep that hope and be positive and excited for what's ahead because God's with us no matter what. So true. And the last thing is T, which stands for Team, team players. players. Guys, we're all on the same team here. We're working towards the same goal, sharing the love of Jesus and spreading the love of Jesus through our actions and just through our, our words and vocabulary, everything. Yeah. So one thing that we love to do, love. we love to praise and worship God. We love to show God how much we love Him, Honor him and we're gonna do that right now as a team yep. so all of you everybody watching right now I need you to stand to your feet get ready get warmed up because we're gonna sing we're gonna dance and we're gonna tell God exactly how much we love him so join us as we praise and worship right now My heart was captured, sin held me captive Now cause of you, God, I'm set free I feel like dancing, I can't help moving I got this crazy joy creeping up in me Whoa, Let's wake the city up Whoa, When the crowds go home and the heart dies down We will sing cause we're unashamed me purpose you keep your promise i hear your spirit call to me to be the difference to live for jesus to shine a light now for all to see Whatever the moment, we'll sing with voices of freedom. 
Welcome back, guys, and thank you for joining us during our praise and worship. Well, now it is time for our offering, and you can give one of three ways today. First is going back to the Church Center app, and you can give directly through there. Second is you can go to our online at website at Bethel.org slash give. Mm -hmm. Last is texting to give, and it's my favorite way. It's super simple. All you have to do is type in 84321, and then in the message box, you put the dollar amount sign how much you want to give and then hit space bgmc and then send boom you're done easy peasy lemon squeeze thanks so much for giving today for our tithes and offerings but now it is time for our totally, totally utterly, utterly useless, useless meaningless video of, of the week. week check this one out <laughs>
All right, guys, now it is time for our memory verse. For those mm -hmm. of you like me, Pastor Kaylani, do you have your Bible? No, I do not have my Bible with me. Okay, so if you are like us and you didn't grab your Bible, don't worry. We're going to give you about 30 seconds to go grab your Bible. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Ready, set, go. All right, guys, time for our verse of the week. Now that you got your Bibles, you have your hard copy right. Bibles, your digital Bible, you use the YouVersion app, whatever it is you have, grab your Bibles because we're going to open up for today's verse, which is found in Psalm 145, chapter 3. No, no. verse 3. It's chapter 145, verse, verse 3. Verse 3. Right. Please don't. Continue. Let's try that one more time. Okay, wait, wait, Psalm. Wait. Oh, wait, okay, backwards. Psalm chapter 145, verse 3. Great job. Was that right? That was right. Sweet. Right. All right, here we go. Moving on. If you guys can go ahead and flip to that page. If you guys aren't sure of the books of your Bible, you can go to the front of your Bible, check out the table of contents. Um, it might be separated differently. Like I always say, mine is split into Old and New Testament or alphabetically. And we're just going to open right up and read from it. So read with me on the count of three. It says this. One, two, three. Three. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. We're going to be reading from verse, we're reading from um, the version NLT, which is New Living Translation. So your, your Bible might read a little bit differently if it's a different version, but that's okay. You can just follow along with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to read this one more time. And then we like to do this little game where we take away some of the words. Oh, yeah. You have to fill in the blanks of those words and that's going to help you memorize this verse. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, when you memorize your verse, have your parents send us a video of you reciting your verse for us because there's still ways that you could earn Bethel Kids books right now. Pastor Kalani, where do they send that to? They send it to children at Bethel.org. It's our email address, children at Bethel.org. Email it over to us. Guys, we have a roster going of everyone who's earning Bethel Kids books. Your name could be on there. So make sure you're doing your take homes every week. You can download those, download those from our website and sending us those videos um, to children at Bethel.org. Our, All right. our website though is uh, Bethel Bethel.org slash kids. Slash kids, yes. That's where you can download all your homework and everything. And the memory verses there. Parents, there's cue card for you there as yep. well. All right, so let's read this verse again, and then we'll start to take away some words. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Psalm 145.3 says, Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Psalm 145.3. Okay, let's take away our first set of words. If you guys are ready, ready or not. Here, Here it comes. Go. All right, I'm gonna read the words. You guys fill in the blanks. Say nice and loud so your parents in the other room can hear you. We want them to join in with us if they're not sitting beside you. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Great the is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Psalm 145.3. Great job, guys. Great job. Great job. So let's take away the second set of words. Keep filling in those blanks. And then we're going to move on to our next one. Here we go. Round two. Great the is worthy praise. One can measure his greatness. Psalm 145.3. Great job, you guys. You're Great doing fantastic. Job. Keep filling in those blanks because we have one more set to take away. So then remember, this is helping you memorize it. Let's take away that last set, Pastor Jonathan. Here we go. Great the is worthy praise. One measure greatness. Three. Oh, so there's part of the verse there. Do you guys remember where it's found? Say it out loud if you do. 
Psalm 145.3. That's right. If you said that, great job, you guys. Great job. So, so proud of you. Keep practicing that. Now that you know where it's found, Psalm 145.3, read that and practice it all week long. Don't forget to send us that video to children at Bethel.org for Bethel Kids Books. All right? All right, guys. Now it is time for our game. And Woo! So, um, we are going to do things a little bit differently. So we're going to play a game, but every time one of us gets something wrong, we are going to play this game along with the game that you guys have. Have you guys ever seen this? This is called Pie Face. I'm sure many of you know what this is. Let me put my Bible away for this. Got to protect the goods here. Yep. I'm going to put my Bible away. But pie face is pretty much, we put our face right here in the middle. And if I get the question wrong, I probably won't. You have the dice. I have the dice right here. You take this and I'm going to roll it and it says five. So then I would click this five times. And this we're going to put whipped cream on here. And we're going to put it like this. Oh, oh, two. So at two, I would have got whipped cream pie to the face. That's so what's going to happen. All right. So, we're going to get ready? set up for this. Let's do this. Right now. All right, guys, now it is time for our game. Woo and so for our game today, we are going to be playing Nailed It or Failed It. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. This one is called Back to School Edition. So this one's going to be, I know going back to school is a little bit different for you guys, but this one's kind of reminiscing about all the fun things that you could yep. do in school. So, so we're going to see. Yeah, how it goes. so what, what you're going to do is you're going to, we're going to watch the videos and decide if these students nail the chair tricks or fail them. And so, Pastor Kehlani are going to be going up against each other. So if she gets one wrong, and I get one right, then she'll have to roll the dice. And whatever amount is on there, there's a four. She would have to one, two, three, four. Whoo! So, and then if I get it wrong, I'd have to roll it. That's a five. One, two. Oh! oh then I would get five. And then so we'll we'll we'll, we'll see We're how many to times one of us gets pied or both of us get pied, or none of us might get pied, because we might, we might guess us, yeah. everything correct. All right, are you ready, Pastor Kayla? I'm I am first ready. Ooh, I'm okay. nervous, but I'm, I'm ready, because I don't want to get whipped cream pie in the face. All right, let's get okay. this guy ready. Hold on, right. let's get it all set up here. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's plenty. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. I'm just good Lord. <laughs> you can have more of that, just stick your No, it's okay, right you'll, you'll, you'll be first. Okay, ready? All right, Here here's the first one. Here's our first one, okay. Oh my goodness, he's gonna jump is, over one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that chairs. what he's doing? It's just like a line of chairs. Oh, oh! It looks like he's jumping over it. Nailed it or failed it, Pastor Kailani? What are you gonna guess? Well, I can't tell you. We okay. have to wait until the count of three. Okay. One, two. Okay, wait, wait. What happens if we both get it wrong? Then we both have to do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we didn't even discuss this. No. Oh, this just got real. Okay. One, two, three. Nailed, Nailed it. it. Oh, I think he nailed it too. Because okay, okay, okay. they're really close All together. Right, they are, they are. Okay, ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Here's our answer. He's gonna run. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous to watch this. Yes! He did it! How did he clear that? I mean I'm relieved because then we don't have to do this. You, whoever you were who made this video and who jumped it and cleared it. Thank you. And bravo. Yes, That's awesome. Bravo. That was awesome. All okay, right. next, video. next video. Nailed it or failed it. Let's see. I have no idea what's going to be going on. Um, I don't even know what happened. That was so quick. I'm going to say failed it. Okay, I'm going to say nailed it. Yeah, it looks like he's already going okay. down into the chair. Okay, ready? Ready. Here it is. I got it right. Failed oh, it. Man. <laughs> That's not fair. Pastor Jonathan, if you please, come okay. on over. Okay. I, well, I got to roll the dice. You got to roll course. it. I know. Let's see. What number do you please get? Please be a one. Please be a one. What four. is it? It's a four. All okay. right. Come on okay. over. Put your face right in here. Your chin right all up in there. There you go. Four. Here we go. What? Oh, my goodness. Two. Oh, oh it shakes. Three. <laughs> one more. Here we go. Go. Oh gosh, I better get these right. <laughs> You're bad. Right you look on. nervous. I'm, I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> this is so. This just took playing this, our game to the next level, this guys. Was, this was only question number two. All right, here we go. Oh question my gosh, there's more. Number three. <sighs> okay, what's happening? Oh, he's gonna jump on top of the chair. Oh, to so try to sit up there. Yep. Oh man, nailed it or 
failed it. <sighs> okay, on the count of three, Hold we'll on. say our answer. Are you okay? You're still getting over that? Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, wait, what do you guys think? Do you guys think he nailed Hold it? Hold on, I gotta think it? about this. This is. Yeah. Okay, all right, so is he, he's jumping on the chairs? Yeah, he's trying okay. to jump on the chairs. Vertical leap. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Failed, failed it. it. I don't Ooh. think he did it. I think he failed it. Okay. All I'm right. so nervous. My I... heart is racing right now. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> this could be so bad. It's not even happening it's, yet. Come on, it's play guaranteed it. guaranteed that this thing is going to go off. No, it's it not. It's guaranteed. not. It's not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. Man, that was a stack of chairs. Pastor, Pastor Kilani. how are you feeling right now? Oh my gosh. I really didn't think I was going to have to do this. <laughs> Guys, you are loving this. <laughs> I'm so I'm not just, excited about doing this right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. He's not the slightest sorry. Okay. All right, let me take my glasses Get off. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. <laughs> she rolled a six. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Oh, oh, I'm so glad we're recording this. This is great. All right, all right, Pastor Kaylani. Let's do this. Let's let's handle this. Let's. There's no let's. It's me. I can turn the wheel for you. Oh, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I want to see your face. Oh, this is not okay. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is awful. Why did we do this? Three, two, one. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Four. What the? Five. No way. Ah, yes, she got she got behind in the face. Oh. All right. Sweet victory. Literally, it was sweet. I can't even see where it is. Uh, <laughs> Help me. Okay, okay. Why? You're gonna get more on your face, anyways. Ow! Don't bite me so hard. I'm sorry. Bite my whole head off. Hey, don't wipe it in. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. You're, you're like smearing it. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, let's reset. I can't believe it went to six. Like It like melted down. That was crazy, okay. Let's clean this up. Oops, okay. I just made it worse. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Oh my gosh, I thought I was home free for a minute there. I thought you were too. I was getting nervous. Oh. Because if it didn't work that, for you, then definitely the next one. The anticipation of this is four, crazy. You roll four, then I roll you six. Six, wow. Okay. Man, the anxiety of this and the anticipation, okay. it's it's nerve wracking. Okay, we got to do this again. <laughs> oh, two more, you guys, two more. Okay. Like okay. Like another vertical jump. Okay, it's like as tall as him. It's a vertical jump. He's going to jump on top of it? Yes. Okay. First attempt. Oh wait, that was someone else. Oh, he is jumping over it. One, are you ready? Yeah. Two, three. Failed, failed it. it. Yeah, we both yeah. say failed it. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully we're both right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Or we both have to do this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Our final answer. I'm so anxious. <laughs> Come on, dude, please fail it, please fail it. Yes! Oh! I mean, I didn't want him to get hurt. That looked painful, but I'm just glad I don't have to do that again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me too. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have one more question. Last one. Or one more. Yeah, here we go. All right. Oh, the anxiety. My heart is still racing, you guys. Okay. He is attempting. Is he just like the clearing the tables, it looks yep. like? He's trying to jump over it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Failed it. Okay. Hey, we're, we're either going to win this together or we're going to lose this together. Final question. Oh, gosh. All right. Let, let's, let's look at this video. <laughs> no. Wait, no. We both have to do it now. No, we should fail this. Yeah. So doesn't that 
Oh wait, we, we're good. We're good. He we did. don't have to do this? No, we don't have to. I mean, <laughs> the Lord. I won. You gotta do it again. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, we didn't say yeah, that. Yeah. That's no, what happened. you just made that up. I, I said failed it. You said nailed it. No, I didn't. I said failed it. <laughs> Yeah, you did. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for our game. We wanted to make it a little bit more exciting. And so what do you think, Pastor Kalani? Should we bring this back next week? I think we're going to have to. We That's, did it one week. We yeah. can't not. All right, guys. Well, next is our favorite time of the service. The and best that part. Is learning more about our Bible. So get ready. Here is our Bible lesson. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Genesis. Chapters 1 and 2. In the beginning. The very beginning. Before the first breath. Before the first flash of color. Before the first moment in time. There was... Nothing. Nothing. Nothing except God. But when God saw nothing, he saw a blank canvas. He saw the perfect backdrop for a work of art beyond imagination. So, God created. From absolutely nothing, He brought forth the heavens and the earth. But there was no shape or form. God's Spirit hovered over the dark emptiness. Then, God called out, Let there be light. Brilliant light shattered the darkness like golden trumpets on a still morning. Bright rays shimmered and danced in all the hues of the rainbow. God saw the light was good. He divided the light from the dark, calling the light day and the darkness night. Evening and morning together shaped the very first day of all time. Then God said, Let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. By His words alone, God shifted the waters, leaving a vast arching space above. The sky. Evening and morning rolled past. The second day, God lifted his voice again. Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let ground appear. Dry land shrugged its way out of the water. Islands and vast continents and gritty deserts and towering mountains. God called the dry ground land and he called all the gathered waters seas. But God had even bigger plans for this day. Let the land produce plants and let there be trees on the land. In moments, tall grasses unfurled across the plains and giant redwoods shot up from the dirt. Flowers and grapevines and carrots and corn sprouted and flourished. God saw that all of it was good. That evening and morning closed out the third day. Let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. Let them separate the day from the night. At the sound of God's voice, the blazing sun exploded into being. The silvery moon spun out. Stars and galaxies flooded into space, filling the universe. Pew, pew, pew. God set the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night and God saw it was good. That evening and morning made up the fourth day. But God wasn't done painting his masterpiece just yet. Let the seas be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth and across the huge space of the sky. Instantly, the seas and rivers and ponds writhed with dolphins and octopi, salmon and minnows. Eagles soared and bluebirds nested while ostriches stretched their long necks. God saw they were good. That evening and morning formed the fifth day. But God kept working on his creation. Let there be livestock and creatures that move along the ground and wild animals. At once, animals of every kind appeared. Elephants thundered through the forests and squirrels darted up tree trunks. 
monkeys chattered, and pigs rolled happily in the mud. God saw it was all good, but he had one more creation in mind. Let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish and the birds. Let them rule over all the animals. Then, with his own hands, God formed the very first man and the very first woman, Adam and Eve. I am me. And you are you. And this place, it's beyond words. Unlike the animals, God made people in his image to reflect him. Have children and fill the earth. Rule over the fish and the birds and every living creature. I am giving you every plant on the earth for food. God looked over everything he had created and saw that it was very good. That evening and morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day, God rested. I mean, his work was finished. His glorious creation was complete. But because God had formed people in his image, they too could reflect his imagination and creativity. The possibilities ahead of them were endless. As much as we might try to describe God because we can't see him, he's truly indescribable. So his good. creation shows us how amazing he is though. And we can know him because we can see the amazing world that he made around us. Let's pray and thank him for that today. Lord God, we just thank you for who you are. Yes, Lord. God, uh, your creativity, God, is just incredible. And Lord, we are so glad, God, that you decided to create us, God, and create us in your own image, Lord. And so we're grateful because that means that we're, you can give us the creativity, God, that you have. And so Jesus, we just give you honor where honor is due, and we just glorify you, God, for all the things that you've created. And God, we just ask, God, that you would help us get through this week, knowing that whenever we come across something that may be too hard, but God, that we can figure it out because we are created in your image. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us yes. today. Remember, Virtual Sports Camp is live tomorrow, August 3rd through 7th. So make sure you're there with us. If you have any questions, go ahead and go to our website. You can check out all the information for Virtual Sports Camp, Bethel.org slash kids, or shoot us an email with any questions you have at children at Bethel.org. You guys. And don't forget, if you've already signed up, mm -hmm. grab your shirts today. We are doing it from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. So yeah. hurry on over if you haven't gone yet. Hurry over and grab your shirts from us. We'll see you there.